Garcia from toleratedcinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this. Alright, so let's get into After Effects and get started. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and as you can see we have implemented this UFO into our footage. If you want to follow this tutorial with the exact same footage, you can actually download the footage and the UFO uh, with the link in the description. The UFO is just a 2D render of a 3D model. So if you want to go more in depth and you want different angles and you want to use it for different perspectives, you can actually download this model also on our website. So uh, you can actually use it with Cinema 4D or any other kind of 3D software. Um, but in Cinema 4D it's already textured the way it should be so in other 3D software it's possible that you will have to tweak uh, the textures just a bit but that's not the worst. Alright so let's get started. We have the example footage here and I will drag this into a new composition like so and then the second thing that I will do is track my motion. So as you can see the footage is just a little bit of wobbling um, through yeah, just a static position so I didn't want to change the perspective because we we're actually using a 2D image so if we would change the height and the rotation too much uh, you would see that it's actually fake so um, I will track the motion and I will pick a position that's always in frame I will just make my tracker a little bit larger and then I will drag it on top of one of these um, peaks of the, of the mountains here and then I have the rotation here. I'll also check the rotation, then also make this a little bit bigger and place this somewhere else but a little bit further away so we can actually see the movement in the rotation. So I'll also make this a little bit bigger so I'm certain that the track goes well. Alright, so press play and let it track for a second. Alright, so if you have tracked your footage correctly, you can actually check that um, if these two just stay on the same position and then you can right click over here new and add a new null object then we are going to click on our footage go to edit target for the tracker so edit target make sure the null is selected if that's the case click ok and then click apply make sure it's x and y and click ok again then you will be able to see uh, these position and rotation keyframes which means um, everything went as it should go and then we can close down our null and import our UFO PNG, well actually it's a TIFF file and then you can position it to whatever uh, location you want it, you can scale it down if you want to, want to so let's scale it just a little bit down click on the scale, scale it like so, okay and I will position it right over here then I will parent it, if you don't see the parent tool you can actually toggle the switches right over here and actually the parent tool stays in there all the time so <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, so just parent it with the null and you will see immediately if you're going through your footage uh, the UFO will stick into place which is great. Then we will duplicate this uh, UFO and right click on our composition new and add a new solid layer. We will click with the uh, pipette tool to a, loca a location in the background something around here. Click OK to just uh, pick that color and then click OK. Parent is also with the null and we will also choose a rectangle tool to just make a nice rectangular selection of that uh, solid layer. Press V on the keyboard for your selection tool, double click on your mask and just move it a little bit more to the right so you're sure that it's going to stick in that uh, place if you're going to add some feather to it. So press F on the keyboard to actually feather your mask here and now we get this nice um, fog going on uh, and now we have this nice fog going on with our UFO of course way too intense so what we'll do is the second duplicate of our UFO we will place this on top of our solid and then click over here at the track mat for the solid layer and just click on alpha mat and now it's just going to um, place over the actual um, surface of the UFO and then we can press T on the keyboard and play with the opacity until we think it fits our footage and immediately you can see that it's already uh, looking a lot better in our footage. Now we can click on our first UFO and just do some uh, minor color corrections so add a tint effect for example. For the tint I'm also going to click one of these colors 
and well actually I'm not going to do that um, just going to make it bright white and just for the black I will just pick a dark color here uh, maybe this over here and see if this is completely black it's not click OK and there we go and then just bring down the tint just a touch I like it to be um, kind of black and white uh, it's not going to be very noticeable uh, so we have our UFO right here and it's looking pretty nice we can also play with the curves if you want to uh, add some more reds uh, as you can see in our scene there is some red uh, not too much uh, so we can add a bit of red and take away some of the blue so it becomes a little bit orangey uh, there we go and maybe for the shadows just a little bit of blue not too much uh, because there's not too much blue going on here and just play around with the uh, greens maybe because actually the blue in the shadows aren't really blue they're kind of uh, cyan uh, so if we're going to bring up our green just a bit in the in the shadows uh, we will see that it's getting a little bit better and it's way too intense so we have to be very careful with, with what we do here uh, but you will see yourself which color fits and which don't so this is actually too intense way too much green I'll take away my greens Let's see. Needs a little bit more blue here. Alright, I will leave it as it is right now. It's yeah, it's too much blue. Uh, just a little bit less. Alright. Uh, so we have our UFO. The only thing we have to do is go to effects and presets, search for fast blur, because the UFO is fully sharp right now. So we'll drag it fast blur onto our UFO and just change this to one. So it's a little bit blurry because my footage is just a little bit blurry and that's what you should do um, because nothing in real life is perfectly sharp uh, so well actually it is but uh, on camera uh, it won't appear very sharp and that's, that doesn't make it cinematic so uh, just add a one pixel fa uh, fast blur right here and now we have our UFO. So duplicate that UFO one more time and put it on top of everything and just um, go to the tint effect make the black actually black so there we go and delete the curves and delete the fast blur well actually the fast blur doesn't really matter uh, we'll leave the fast blur as it is right now now we go to effects color correction and add a leveled effect and we're going to bring the blacks all the way to the right until we only see black and white on our uh, on our UFO and also turn up the uh, tint effect to 100% because we were seeing a little bit of blue in these lights alright once you have that we can just change it to a screen mode and then we can go to effects stylize and add a glow effect to our UFO here and we can just play around with the settings so glow I will duplicate it control D increase the radius to something like 110 then duplicate it again and then increase it like uh, to something a lot higher and then you can also play well with the intensity because it's a little bit too intense right now so for the second glow I'll make this less intense and there we go we have some glow to the lights now so that's also going to make it look a little bit better so um, actually that's all you have to do you have to click on your UFO as well toggle the switches and make sure it has some motion blur while it's moving so we can do this uh, for actually everything here um, and then if it's going to be moving you will see some motion blur in these movements uh, so that will also make it a little bit more realistic um, but apart from that it's all I've done um, what I've done as well and actually <laughs> it wasn't all I've done um, I searched online for some clouds PNG so it's actually very simple just Google clouds PNG and you will find some clouds without a background so uh, of course without a background um, and then you can drag these into your composition so uh, drag them in like so also parent them I'll drag them in here also parent these with the null and then also go for a tint effect effect color corrections and tint effect and the white we will click on the white pipette tool here and just choose something different a bright color in our uh, sky here so this is kind of bright we'll use this and then we can also scale it down press s on the keyboard while this uh, layer is selected scale it down a bit and then just move the clouds to a position that you like right over here 
at the side here and actually it's still way too big something like so and then we are going to do that for all of these clouds so we can import a few other clouds and this is going to make it more integrated into the background uh, which is also going to make it look a little bit more professional and right here I'm messing up things okay so I'm going to scale down my other cloud as well maybe something like 17 and there we go place it over here and also copy that tint effect from the previous clouds so go to effect uh, well for the cloud uh, oh the cloud is above there tint edit copy and then for the other cloud edit paste And there we go also link it to the null so we can do that right here and now it should also move together with our ufo another thing that you can do is actually uh, click on both of these uh, clouds here press p on the keyboard click on the stopwatch here and go to the end of your complete uh, timeline and then just move them slightly to the right and that's going to add a little bit of movement and it's going to be very subtle um, if you don't look at it you won't even notice but yeah unconsciously you will be seeing the movement in the clouds and it will appear more realistic so that's actually it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you want to apply some color grading you can always look at our lit on our website the link will be also in the description uh, but this is how to basically integrate something in your footage um, well in this case a UFO and as I said if you want to go further into uh, detail and you want different perspectives of that um, UFO or you want 3D tracking you can actually do that uh, we have the model on our website also that link will be in our description below and thank you so much for watching apart from that if you liked it give it a like and also subscribe to our channel for more, thank you so much and goodbye.